Hi guys, welcome to Tara's Spinning My name's Kathy. And if you pick this big black dice, this is for reading one. So we'll get you some cards. This is Blessings. Choice, card number 22. And Manifestation. We will roll that in a little while to get you some lucky numbers, or a lucky, at least two or three numbers. We might even join a couple of other dice with it to see what we get. So, with choices, it's ascension, it's moving up and things are looking up and starting to rise up card number 22 by the way, the others don't actually have numbers, but it, once you're going up and start heading up in this direction, there's a choice. You get to the gateway there at the, the Y intersection and there's two doors at the top and you have a choice and both doors are going to lead to something different, slightly different, and it's it's a matter of taking time and making this choice. So there's blessings and manifestation. It feels really positive. Everything feels really positive what's coming in, but we'll get some tarot and go a bit deeper. Okay, we'll get you a bit more information for reading one for the big black dice. Three of Pentacles straight away. And the five of cups. And the Four of Pentacles. Three, five, four. So, with those first few cards, Three of Pentacles is like working and improving and creating. You've been working a lot behind the scenes, doing a lot of energy. And along the way, there's been some disappointments. You've definitely felt you've put a lot of energy in and things haven't worked out. So there's been, it feels like it's very backwards and forwards, that's why there's that split in the cards there, because the energy is sort of splitting out, and the Four of Pentacles is being back in and back on top of the, the money, and being stable within the money, and it feels like to me that the money, you've got money there, but it, things just don't feel like to be flowing in the right direction and going the way you want them to go, there seems to be constantly, um, constantly worrying on some level that you're not going in the right direction or you're not doing the right thing. It might be why there's this split energy there with the two choices. Get a few more cards for reading one, please. Okay, if they flip, you have to take them. And that one, too, or that, those ones as well. Okay. We have the four of wands. Three of Wands and the Star. So, Four of Wands is a bit of a celebration. It's usually to do with the home, but it can also just be an engagement, a celebration, a wedding, or just a harvest card. It also can be the harvest time when you've worked really hard and you're going to harvest the field now and bring all the crop in. You've got blessings here and you've got manifestation. So I'd say that you're working behind the scenes and have been working towards something changing or something building or something going in your direction. But you're still in this doubt. There's a lot of doubt around it. Maybe it's a doubt in yourself. I feel like it could be a doubt that you think you're not doing the right path or you think you've picked the wrong You've made the wrong choice. It just feels like that you've made the wrong choice. Well, there's the star here, which is a wish come true. And the three of wands is, it's the manifestation and the blessings are coming. They're just on the horizon. And, it, of course, nobody likes watching a pot boil. You know, it feels like that. It's like this endless waiting, waiting, like this feeling. So we have the lovers and the queen of cups. So with the lovers, it's either... It is to do with a, real, a romantic partner that you've been manifesting and it's the blessing you're wanting is romance and you've got two people that you're picking from, you don't know which way to go. Or it also can be a choice because none of these cards have really 
pointed. You've got the pentacles there, but that was more to do with being st the stability with money. So I feel like there's either a choice to be made in the romance or the relationship side of things, or there's a choice to be made in which way you spend your time and where your energy goes forward with, from here forward, what you're going to do with your energy and your time. We're going to grab out a few, just a different um, tarot deck and see what else we can get for reading one, please. A few more cards for reading one. Well, that clarifies it a bit. We have the Four of Cups. So again, like the Five of Cups, there's that little bit of disappointment. Um, feeling like... It's like a repeating pattern. It's a constant feeling of Oh, it was so close, but not quite. We've got the Three of Pentacles again, which we've got a double of that. And we've got the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is definitely to do with looking for a soulmate, a relationship, an equal. It can be romantic and it can be friendship. It doesn't have to just be uh, romance. It can actually be like looking for a friend that's on the same level as you. A friend that is, like in this card, they see you on an equal terms, you see each other eye to eye and they get you, they just get you, they, don't, they understand you, they understand where and what you're doing and what you're, you don't have to feel like you ever have to explain yourself to this person, they understand you and you understand them, so it's like a mirror, just like this card, there's a bit of that mirror vibe going on. The Three of Pentacles is usually to do with um, creating, improving, we had the three of wands as well so with those cups sorry it's just this is just a bit i have to take that because they flipped up but it's just a bit of messy shuffling there we have the seven of swords so feeling like you're wasting time and energy like i said before this split trying to sort of hum it you were sort of making this decision between two things all the time backwards and forwards with it Three of Swords, it just goes with that disappointing energy. It's just that feeling like there's something... I can't, the only way I can put it is it feels like something's just slightly off. Something's just out. And you sense it on some deeper level, but you're not really sure how to go about fixing it or what to do about it. So you, it's feeling like you're, you're walking along and you're living life, but you feel like you're sort of walking one step in front of yourself or one step behind you're not actually in sync you feel like you're slightly out of sync and with this knight of cups he's usually an offer of love or an offer of you know he, he's a promise he's a, he's a romance or a promise coming in or a friendship coming in and because it's landed straight out on that two of cups i feel like this might be what the manifestation is to do with the blessing, maybe, in this, even though it's a, we're doing an abundance reading, the abundance will be, this blessing will be in a friendship or a romance that's coming in. We've got the Three of Wands again and the Six of Swords. So with that energy, the Three of Wands is definitely, the ship's just out in the bay. You can see it, but it hasn't actually got to the dock yet. So you're still waiting for it to actually get to the actual harbour and rope that boat up so it's right there in front of you. It's still out on the ocean a little bit, so you're still waiting. You can see it's coming, but it just seems to be taking forever. And there's the Six of Swords, which is the travel and the energy of it coming in towards you and the change it's going to bring as it comes in. What I've got is just the Zodiac cards here. So with the Zodiac cards, we're just going to give them a bit of a shuffle around and with these cards this is either going to be a confirmation that it's your that's the one it's going to be your time of year or it's going to be the person or yourself something to do with Virgo either you're a Virgo sun moon sun moon rising or Venus or the friend coming in is a Virgo who's a sun moon rising or Venus or they're coming and it's going to be in this time of the year, which Virgo is about to come. So you've got about the 23rd, just correct me if I'm wrong, 23rd of July to about the 23rd, oh, no, so, sorry, that was Leo, 23rd of 
or the 24th of August to the 23rd of September. Sorry about that, I've gone into the wrong star sign. But that would be Virgo coming in. And the other ones I've got is the house cards. And with the house cards, we're just going to have a look. It's too quick. And see which section of your life it's coming into. So the seventh house. This area of your life is about long-term significant partners, romantic, business or family. That's exactly what we were just... The whole reading, how can you flick it that quick? But anyway, it wanted to jump out because it was wanting to let you know that that's what this is all about, this reading. So reading one... Even though this was abundance reading, this is the abundance you've been looking and you're, you're going to get is going to come in and it's going to be in the form of a friendship. Exactly like this, the seventh house. It's going to be in the form of a romantic partner, a business partner or family or, a, or any significant friendship or partner as you can see in the seventh house there. So it's a beautiful reading and you've been... Some part of your soul's been manifesting this and bringing it into fruition. You've been calling it in, so to speak. You've been making it happen. You're bringing it in. And this split situation now to me feels like, even though it was this slightly out of sync vibe, now when I saw this now, I'm feeling that it's this, this is you and there's, it splits into two and this is this other person that's going to come in and join up and make it balance up, going to balance the situation out. Put that in the lucky pig and we'll get some dice. I'll go the little round dice. We'll see what, I'm not sure what these numbers were pertained to, but they could be a date, um, it could be a month. And they could all add together and join in and be someone's birthday. I really don't know, but we're just going to roll the dice and see what we get. You can take this number and you'll know when you hear it or see it what it's to do with. Okay, we've got... These are funny dice because they're real. It's a four and a five. And so we've got... It's either 45, 54 or nine. So they're the lucky numbers there that I think maybe something to do with Virgo is going to be the ninth month, who knows. Um, nine again can mean the ending of a big cycle, the ending, the wrapping up of the big cycle and the beginning of another one. So you take it how you see it, but that's reading one. Thanks for hanging out reading one, we'll catch you all next time. Oh, forgot the making magic. We will get a making magic just to finish it off. Here it is. Healing. True healing of the mind, body and soul. Oh, that's beautiful. It's going to be, this is going to be what makes you feel whole. To me, it feels like this is what, this is this little piece that's always been missing. This little secret missing piece that I said how it felt like you weren't quite in sync. You were walking ahead or behind yourself. This energy comes in and fixes this. You just didn't know it was missing. When it comes in, you'll realise what I'm talking about because it will fill the void up, whatever gap's there, it's going to fill that gap and make you feel um, whole. Yeah, it's the only way I can put it. So thanks for reading one. I nearly forgot you were making magic at the end, but thanks for hanging out. And that was with the big black dice was your, was your dice. Bye for now. Hey, reading two, you would have picked this little green dice. And we'll go ahead and get you some cards for reading two, please. We'll go again. Read them two, please. We have the card flexibility. We have, I think card three was called voyage. I will check that. Or ships, I can't remember now. And blessings. Oh, that's nice. So, with that card number three is called ships. This is definitely going on a bit of a trip. You'll definitely need to take a suitcase when you go, when this card appears, it's not just one night, it's usually a couple, a week. You're definitely going to go on a trip. Yeah, so this card, this card, the flexibility card, it's just a telling you to be flexible and be ready because it, it actually does, it has to do with abundance as well. And being flexible and going with the flow and just bending like the bamboo and the breeze that's what the, all the bamboo is in that card. 
it's actually just telling you to be ready because there's quite big change coming in, quite big changes coming about in the in the near future. It's all about to everything's about to to blow up a bit because you've got the blessings coming in as well, and this is definitely uh, ships is to do with travel to take a suitcase. Um, and it's usually quite exciting and quite vibrant energy. So we'll get some tarot and we'll see. Reading two, please. Can we get a few cards for reading two? Okay. Okay. I'll read them out to you in a minute. Let's get a couple more, please, for reading two. So straight away with these Six of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Six of Cups is the past, a bit of something from the past, somebody from the past. Memories from the past, it can be energy that's from behind, childhood, or back in time at any, any sort of time frame. You got the Two of Swords, so it's being in two minds, or being a little bit, a bit doubtful, a little bit backwards and forwards. Maybe... Um, there's somebody from your past that you would like to get in contact with or see again and you're wondering whether you should bother having them around. They've definitely had, there's been disappointment has come in around this person. There has been a falling out. There's been a fight. Um, it could be a, a relationship that broke down on all levels from romance to friendship to family. And we have the Six of Wands there and the King of Swords so definitely looks like moving forward and with that king of swords he can be legal in that but i feel this time he's to do with the truth he's to do with the truth coming the truth being spoken the truth clearing the air things are going to get cleared or sorted out um, we have the nine of wands so this has been fairly with that cup so it's fairly emotional this is it's been a bit hurtful and you feel a bit wounded and you're not really wanting to go back and revisit it or even look at it because it actually hurts a bit too much to go back and, and go back over it. You'd rather leave, walk away and leave it be. You have the Six of Swords, which is this bit of a trip or travel, and this is this card here where something's coming in, and it comes in really quickly. you got the Eight of Wands there, so it's fast-moving energy. It sort of comes out of nowhere virtually. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, sorry. She's again to do with the truth, um, finding out the truth, getting told the truth, hearing the truth. And then you've got the Ten of Cups, which is quite good, happy news for the family, or it's just perfection of the human heart. So you feel happy or you feel content. Um, maybe this person from the past or this relationship from the past comes back and you sit down and work things out and it makes you feel good to clear the air, or there's something you didn't know that went on and they're going to tell you some truth. Something's going to come to light there that you didn't know. Um, we'll get this other deck now and see if we can get a few more cards. Yes, okay. Get a bit of, just a little bit of clarification for reading two, please. I didn't want that many. Dear, dear. Definitely trying to hold these cards better and not throw out so many because it end up reading for way too long. Okay, first card that did flip out but was Temperance. Now Temperance is, well it's usually um, Archangel Michael but in this deck it's a beautiful woman, but it's healing. It's balance and healing. So with that truth and that conversation or you either hear it or get told even by a third party, somebody tells you something and it is quite a revelation. So you miss the Tower card. So when the Tower card comes in, this comes in really quick. The energy seems to be quite fast moving. Ten of Swords, so definitely it's the darkness before the dawn. So you're in the dark about this situation and when it gets told or explained and you see it all in front of you, you start to sort of, the penny drops, it's a bit of that. There's the Hermit and the Page of Swords. The Hermit is going within and how do I explain it? When you hear this situation, it takes you back within yourself and it makes you heal something that was in the shadow, something that you've hidden. 
you've locked it up down deep inside and it, this actually heals this old wound. It fixes this old wound and you can move forward. <coughs> Excuse me. Page of Swords. News and information. News and information coming in. Eight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. So, Eight of Swords is the self-imposed trap with your own thoughts well that's where that will be going that's what's going to heal that's what's going to be gone is this doughty old fawn in your side vibe that's going to be gone with the arm page and knight of pentacles i'd say there's just a bit of news and information coming in somebody may offer you something to do with work you got the nine of cups judgment the queen of cups and the high priestess so the Nine of Cups is a celebration. Judgment's waking up to a whole new way of life and a whole new way of thinking and feeling. And the Queen of Cups with the High Priestess there is very much the intuition and very much feeling. Um, it's, it's just this the healing that comes in through this past situation that comes in. And whether you meet or find this person somewhere, you go on a trip to catch up with them. You, I just don't understand it. The whole reading was about a trip, but then it all become a lot to do with this past situation getting sorted out. But there's definitely a trip, abundance, there's travel. It could be a trip coming that you shout yourself a trip when all this abundance and all this situation clears and heals. It maybe opens up the path for you to move forward. Definitely a blessing. So anything that's coming in and anything that's coming in around you, it's all a positive. Now I've got the house cards here. No, we'll go to the zodiac first. The zodiac signs. We're just pulling these out and these will be your zodiac sign or this other person's zodiac sign. And then it can also be the time of year. Sorry about the weird shuffling, but I can't shuffle them, they're too big. Taurus. So, you could be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. This person that is coming in, that's mending and healing this relationship could be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. The energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy and productive yet relaxed and slow. So that could be something to do with you or someone you know, could be a Taurus. And then we'll do the house cards and we'll see what, what the house cards say. Which area of your life this might pertain to, this reading. The second house. Your assets finances and the things that you value. So assets and finances, yes, but the things you value, you could value this relationship or this friendship as well. Or, like I said before, it definitely can come back to that feeling of, oh, that was the dice. We, we like in reading one, I ended up rolling the round dice because I like the two of them together. They're the same size. We'll roll them in a sec. I'll just clarify this back up. This blessing, there's definitely a trip that's coming in around you. I'm not sure how, how or what. You'll know when that pops up what this trip was to do with and how it fits into this. But this flexibility is definitely to do with abundance. And abundance can come in a lot of forms. It can, it's not just necessarily money. Sometimes abundance can be given something, offered something, um, getting a really lucky deal, winning a trip, like you could actually win this trip somehow. I don't know, but you, you could win this trip, but it's a blessing. And Taurus, again, that's just back to your personal sun, moon, rising, Venus, of you or the other person, all that time of year. It could be that time of year when you've had the big fight. It could be the time of year when you met. I really don't know what Taurus will be to do with, but Taurus will fit into it somehow. And the second house... Your assets, finances and the things that you value. This is all about to get a blessing and a bit of a change come through because you had the tower and everything back there so it's quite a big healing and there's quite a big change coming in. 
and it comes in pretty fast, but it's it's all looking positive, so we'll just get through one and three. So it can be 13, can be 31, so they could be dates. It can be the first, it can be the third, or it can be three and one is four. So again, whichever way it pertains to you, you've got three, one, and you can divide it, I mean, sorry, you can mold, you can add it together and make a four. Oh, goodness. Um, it can be a 31, it can be a 13, and again, you'll know if any of this pertains to your what's going to be, what's going to resonate with you. So I'll just get your making magic card to finish off. Oh, there we go. And it's wishes come true. So, again, this, because it's a general read, there's way too many ways this can go, but whatever this is coming in for reading to with the little green dice, wishes come true, rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. Things are going to come round and the wheel is going to point back to you. I feel like it's your time to shine and time to feel good. It feels like a really good feeling with all that blessing and the flexibility. So, thanks reading two. Bye for now. Okay, reading three. You would have picked this little red dice. This is your reading. So I'll get you guys some cards for reading three, please. These are your cards. We've got Gateway, we've got Bridges, and Intention. So, straight away the Gateway is a, a door opening and it's fairly magical as you can see with the unicorn. Bridges, again, it's about it's a, it's a pathway from one land over to the other land so you're going from one state of being into another state of being and there's an intention that we'll get some tarot and go a bit deeper but it feels like you've made an intention and you've been moving towards it and putting it out there and you just keep wishing it and wishing it and wishing it and you're bringing it in you're actually getting it to manifest and come in so we'll get some tarot and see what else we can get for reading three, please. Get some cards for reading three. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Reading three, please. Let's get a few cards for reading three. That's going to do it. Okay. We've got the world and the eight of wands. So, just drag this out of the way. With this gateway and this, this is this is going across from one world and going into a different world. So to step from one world and go into another world is going through the gateway. But because of the intention, you've been manifesting and bringing this in. And we've got the world. So it's the end of one big cycle in your life and the beginning of a new one. And, hey, love seeing this card. It's coming in fast. So sometimes fast can be a bit disorientating. I don't mind fast because I'm slightly impatient. So we've got the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups and Death. So with those guys there together, the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups is walking away from this energy. And this Five of Pentacles energy can be um, struggling with finances, being left out in the cold, being ghosted, feeling abandoned, feeling feeling like you know less than it, it always feels like you've been shut outside freezing in the snow like the picture depicts this is you walking away from this energy and those feelings that cycle and that part of your life is going to be finishing or healing either way if you leave if you're going from one state of being over into another state of being this could definitely be healing and of course you've got death so with good old death it is the finish of one, the beginning of another. So up in the hill there is there's that gateway. And with that gateway opening, you're being led up to the new gateway to, to go through. And over the hill, different life. So death is the symbol and the omen that the change is coming. And you've got the wheel, the big wheel of the world and death. 
It couldn't be spelt out any clearer than that. And then we've got gateway and the bridge and the intention. So anyway, we'll flick a few more tarot. Get a few more for reading three, please. Reading three, please. It's a bit harder to shuffle. Reading three. Just get a couple of cards for reading three, please. That'll do for now. We've got judgment on the bottom there, which is waking up to a whole new way of life. So, yeah. Looks very much to be where we're at. All right, you've got the emperor. So that's being in control, being in charge, being on top. The Ace of Swords, truth. And definitely is to do with karma, destiny, and fate. So with this intention, you've been calling for this energy to come in. And I feel like it's been, it's been a long wheel has been turning for a long time to get to where this big change is coming in and starting to take effect. Page of Swords is news and information coming in and the change coming in and the Three of Wands. So this just says to me that the boat's just out. You can see it. It's just in the bay but it just hasn't come in and docked on the actual shore yet. It's still coming in. So this energy is just, I feel like it's just a small it's, you can see it, so that's one thing. If you can see it, it's closer than it's ever been. So it, it shows that it's on its way. It's just about there. Hang on, I've got to get another card. Okay. We've got the Zodiac sign cards. We're just going to have a bit of a shuffle through. and see if we can just get one, please. As to do with reading three, thanks. Scorpio. So, you can be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. I don't think this actually pertains to any other person really. It feels like it is just about you. So, you've got this or it's in your, or it's a time frame. So, Scorpio, as you know, is going to be the end of October to the third week of November. So that's coming up. This energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. So not sure if the meaning means anything. But you've either got this placement in your chart or it's a time where there's going to be I feel like this cycle is not going to take that long. That's too far out, as far as I'm concerned, because we're in July. To get to this time frame is a little bit too long. But I feel something will or something is going to happen in the Scorpio month. If not, you actually are a Scorpio, and then that makes all the sense. So and then we've got the house cards. Let's see which, which house... It is looking like it's going to be around the 8th house. This transformational area of your life is all about, is about shared resources and intense emotions. So, looks very much like partnership because there's the rings like a wedding couple engagement. So, you can have some gateway and some change coming in and it's going to either bring you in to be around and find a person if you're a single I feel like someone's going to come in and they could have something to do with Scorpio or it is in Scorpio time or there's going to be a big gateway and a big transformation happening within the relationship and it can be in a, in a lot of different ways, but with the cards we had out, it's definitely a change. It's definitely, and it's a positive change. It all is like quite positive and, and feeling quite good, being it was the cycles. Um, it could be moving, you could be moving to a whole different place or a whole different state. I don't really have too many moving cards, but you're definitely walking away and the energy changes. So. 
walking away from an old life and walking into a new life and shared resources and intense emotions yeah definitely going to be with the relationships and it can be friendship commitment doesn't always have to be a husband or a wife it can be to do with a friendship or a new friendship coming in um, I would just say with that secretive and possessive if it is another person they're just they're just giving you a heads up to say that this person can have these attributes but I feel like it's still a very positive reading and something will be whoever and whatever this is to do with it'll definitely be to do with friendship romance or family but I feel the Scorpios it's definitely going to be the time of year or it's going to be the person's star sign moon sign rising or venus so you'll see but i'll get you a making magic i forgot to put them up for you to see and we'll get a making magic for reading three please okay you guys got two but that's all right protection strong protective magic for the family and the home so that's good and triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. So, beautiful read, reading three. I'll leave it there and I'll catch you all next time. Bye for now. The lucky numbers for reading three with the red dice, please. We have a four and a one. So we either have 14, 41, or it can be a 5.